Welker. I'm Sam Spendlove. And we are the bloggers behind prettylifegirls.com. We are also authors of the new book, <laughs> DIY Guide to Tie-Dye Style, The Basics and Way Beyond. Inside the book, you will find all of our best tips for the fabrics you should use, what kind of dyes we like to use, You'll also find a variety of binding methods, our tips for setting your projects, and then you'll find 20 tie-dye projects from things you can wear, things you can put up in your home, gift ideas, and so much more. In this video, we're gonna show you a few of the projects that we made, talk to you a little bit about the process, and just tell you why we love them. I we think you'll love it too. First up, we have this Chevron V dyed throw pillow. We love this pillow. It's so beautiful. You have probably noticed pillows like this in fancy home decor boutiques, and you can get this at home. You, it's really about choosing colors that are organic so that they'll fit into your space well and not feel like you're just throwing tie dye in there, yes. don't you think? It looks very mature. Yes. And I think also the V binding, it's so simple. Yes, but it has like a like, geometric. You would almost not even call it tie-dye. Right. Yeah. But it is tie-dye. I really love it. It's, it's so one cool. of my favorite pictures in the book too. Is Same. This one is beautiful. And then we just added some real fluffy tassels because tassels make everything better. Yes. One of the first projects you'll find in the book is a really simple dip dye project with these macrame keychains. And we did a bunch of different colors. And this is a really fun way to introduce yourself to using tie-dye, mixing it and dipping it and seeing how the fibers take it. We also have a tutorial in the book for how you can weave these if you're interested in learning how to do some macrame. But all you do with this is dip it into normal tie-dye. So you're not having to buy like a special dye. You can do this with tie-dye. It's just the way you apply it is a simple dip. But it's a really good way to start out with tie-dye and see how your, your fibers will take it and test colors. And then you have these really pretty keychains that will make your keys so cute. I love the idea of making a bunch of these for like gifts. Yes. Like a nice little handmade gift. Yes, I so love cute. that. Next, we have our tie-dye sneakers. We actually have a video of this on our YouTube channel if you want to see a video tutorial you can also find it in the book. It's this a fun one to see made. Yeah, like to watch it happen is very fun. The other thing I really love about this process is you dip it, you kind of like wipe it off and you see immediately what yes. it's gonna look Instant like. Instant gratification is always a plus. Yes, tie-dye makes you wait sometimes. Yes. Not with the <laughs> sneakers. We love right. these and look how cute they are. We made some for our daughters too, so we have so Matching. mommy and me sneakers. So cute. A really great place to start with tie-dye is to work on a tote. Lots of times they're made with a blend of natural fibers, so the dye is gonna take really well. So if you're a little bit timid and wanting to test things out, they're affordable to start with, and they are the right makeup of fabrics, typically. Mm -hmm. So if you get a canvas bag or a cotton bag, they're gonna dye beautifully. And this one is bound with a bullseye and then saturated in dye. And we love the way that it almost has like a denim feel to it when it's done. When you look at these together, it feels so coastal to me. Like it yes. almost looks like a seashell or like a sand yes. dollar. It does look coastal. With the blues and with the design. This is a really great beginner project. You can play around with the colors on this one, play around with different binding methods, and we love the result. Next, we have a reverse project. These are reverse dyed leggings, and these are like athletic leggings, yes. like athleisure, as they say. Yes. Um, these have the majority of the content in this fabric is cotton, and so the colors changed in a really, really cool way. These are fun because you could do this in a set. If you find some leggings or a top that are the same fiber makeup and you can make a set, which is so popular, but all you're doing is applying bleach and it looks like you use several colors. What bleach can do to different fabrics is really amazing and you can't get that effect any other way. We actually made these because I was wearing them doing something with bleach, splattered a little bleach <laughs> on them and then decided, well, I Might better well make them all bleached. <laughs> so we squirted them with some bleach and now they look so cool. Yeah, I love them. 
One of the last projects we're gonna show you are these tie-dye pom-pom cake toppers. These are so fun, you just make pom-poms and then apply dye to them. We also made a matching tassel garland that you can see behind us that we dip dyed so you could decorate an entire party from your cake to your home decor with tie-dye. So fun for the summer, especially if you're doing, you know, bright, vibrant colors like this. If you use a cotton yarn, your application process will be so easy and the um, fibers will take the color so well. Thank you so much for coming along with us as we share some of the projects from our new book, DIY Guide to Tie-Dye Style. We hope that you'll pick up a copy and try your hand at becoming a tie-dye master. In addition to the book, be sure to check out our blog, prettylifegirls.com. We also have videos on our YouTube channel that share a lot of tie-dye tutorials, really good and helpful information about tie-dye and other crafts if you're into that kind of thing. Thank you so much for watching.